by bell. Stand by all stations. Attention, all districts. A five alarm fire. Five bells move in immediately. That's it. Let's go. Let's go. Fire fighters. <laughs> Presenting Firefighters, the true-to-life story of our unsung heroes who stand ready to ride by day or night against our most murderous enemy, the demon of fire. In just a minute, we'll join Chief Cody and Tim Collins at the scene of the fire in Gilda Minocchio's home, where Gilda and her baby brother are trapped on the smoke-filled fourth floor. But before we report to the chief, Here's something you should know. Let's go, firefighters. Let's go to the street outside Gilda's home, a tall, narrow building, one of a solid row of houses where fire has broken out in the second floor. At the first alarm, a ladder truck and three engines, including Tim Collins's company, 209, rolled to the scene. And as Chief Cody arrives, he finds Tim struggling with Gilda's mother. In the <laughs> Collins! Oh, oh, hey, Collins! Oh, here, Chief Cody! Oh, my baby! They're on the fourth floor! Collins, can you get that woman out of the way? She's burned her hands. Chief Cody keeps trying to get back into the house. You get up those stairs. Uh, Mrs. Pinocchio, listen, we'll save Gilda and the baby. Uh, look, there goes the ladder to the fourth floor. The uh, men are going right up, ma'am. We'll save your youngsters. Hold her, Collins. Mrs. Pinocchio, please, you've got to listen. You know me, Tim Collins. Look at me. Yes, yes, you killed Tim. Uh, that's right. Now, listen, I'll go up that ladder myself. I promise I'll bring your kids out if you'll just let us take care of you. Let first aid attend those burns. You promise, Tim, you promise you'll get them out? First aid. Pinocchio, first aid this way. Uh, that's okay, Chief. You'll let me lend the hook and ladder boys a hand. Yeah, go ahead, boy. Don't waste time. Get those kids out. Yes, sir. Oh. You'll have both your kids back inside five minutes, Mr. Pinocchio. Oh, he will. I know he'll save them. He will save them, the morning. Well, of course he will, ma'am. Now, here's the first aid man. Let him look after those burns. Well, Joe, get her across the street, will you? Yes, Chief. Yes, do whatever you say, Chief. I know you'll save my baby. All right, Joe, Chief. All right, 209. Get your line up those stairs. Drive that fire back into the second floor. Hey, hit that fire! 207. Go in the windows to the second floor. Second floor is all ablaze. Kennedy. Lieutenant Kennedy. Here, Chief. Tap in the second alarm. Second alarm. Okay, Chief, buddy. 111. Ladder 111. Open up that roof. Let out that smoke and gas. Well, come on, come on. Don't fall asleep. Get out. As Chief Cody directs his fight against the fire that rages all through the second floor, the truckmen throw ladders to reach all floors. Tim's own engine company drives the flames back from the stair shaft, while other men with hoses go through second-story windows to meet the fire head-on. Hook and ladder men hack a hole in the roof to let the choking smoke and explosive hot air escape, while Tim, climbing nimbly, overtakes the truckmen who are already breaking into the fourth floor through the window. Hey, watch yourself, rubber nose. Let that smoke clear out so you won't be eating it all. That is enough for both of us, Murphy. Hey, Murphy, wait for me. Huh? Hey, it's Hooksy Collins. Let that smoke clear out, Murphy. Uh, come up and sniff for yourself, me boy. We're about to go in, me and rubber nose. Here. Uh, hiya, Hooksy. What, what gives? Hello, rubber nose. Murphy, the chief sent me. I know the layout here. This front room, a sort of playroom, then the bathroom and the girls' room. And beyond that, the baby's room. All right, then it's you that'll come with me, Hooksy. What about me, Murph? Uh, you follow us in, Rubber Nose, and ventilate. The windows? Yeah, open all you can get at, Rubber Nose. And then stand by here at the ladder. And if we're not back in good time, if the smoke should get Ah, in. watch a little smoke. It's the children inside that'll be consumed with the smoke. Well, then get out of my way, Murph. Uh, uh, age before beauty, me fire, fire lady here. Come along. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, now... Down on all paws, Hooksy. Right. From here on, we crawl. I'll sing out so you won't get lost. All right. Uh, oh, black uh, as Egypt it is. Uh, <coughs> what have we here? A uh, fine big closet, is no, it? No, no, no. Tile floor, the bathroom, Murphy. All right, don't no time for a shower here, Hooksy. Come yeah. along at my heels. No. 
an exit in the girls' room. Yeah, with the door shut tight. Helen! Murphy, hurry it up. Ah, good boy, Robert Nose, to the grand pair of lungs. Yeah. Now, the question is, does the girl's <laughs> door keep the smoke out or keep it in? <laughs> Crack the door open. Yeah. Easy as easy. Who's <laughs> smoke? Oh, thicker than water. Yeah. They'll be smothered, the two of them. Move along, Murphy. Go straight on through. Get to the baby's room. I'll find the girl. Murphy, Murphy, this way. Call it. <laughs> Keep coming this way. All right, boys. Keep coming. I'll come after you. Stay, stay where you are. Got you, Murphy. Here. Where's Colin? He's coming. Hooks, he got the girl. I'll drag you to the window. Easy. Easy now. Now, the little one here. Huh? The little one. The baby? Are you nuts, Murphy? Uh, let, let me breathe, Murphy. Boy. The baby. Uh, Where? Well, let be now. He, he's under me coat, the little fellow. Why, you're smothering. Go help Collins rub nose. He's dragging the girl here. But the baby, he can't breathe. He's snug enough beneath my coat. And how would he be if the fresh air was to strike his lungs and him full of smoke? Ah, uh, sure, sure, Murphy. <laughs> air, he couldn't take it. Rub nose. Rub nose. Yeah. Your hand here. I'd be killed dead by the air. You go and help Hooksy, will you? Yeah, come in, Hooksy. Hey, tell him to cover the girl's face. No fresh air till it's safe for her to breathe it. Saved from the deadly smoke that fills the burning building, Gilda and her baby brother are given first aid and sent off to the hospital for special care. Chief Cody fights the fire to a finish. And hours later, after the engine companies have picked up their lines and rolled back to quarters, and the truckmen have completed their overhaul of the wreckage, Chief Cody sends a special message to certain of his men. Hey, rubber nose. Uh, what gives, Murphy? Could I trouble you for the loan of your brass polish uh, after your own buttons are all shined up, that is to say? Buttons? Who's going to shine buttons? Well, now, it seems like you and me and Hooksy Collins over the 209... It seems like we'll be shining brass all the blessed day instead of catching a bit of shut eye. It's for a chat with Chief Cody, you understand? Uh, chat with Chief Cody? That's right. What are you getting at, Morph? Oh, no, didn't I tell you now? Oh, well, here's the notice, Rubber Nose. Here. What? Let me see that. Special from the Chief, it is. You and me and Hooksy, you see it says right there, yeah. we're to report without fail tomorrow night before logging in at company quarters. You see what it says? Uh, well, how do you like that? And what for? What did we do wrong? Ah, uh, who knows? Except only the chief. And Hooksy. Nobody's going to clean a record at Hooksy. Oh, now, what's, what, what good is it to worry now? They're sure the chief is a kindly man. What more can he do but eat the heads yeah, off Yeah, but us? if we only knew what we did wrong to get called up on the carpet... Now I'll get no sleep worrying about this. And the next evening, as fire department privates Rabadou and Murphy, with Private Tim Collins leading the way, file into Chief Cody's office, they still do not suspect the reason for this unusual summons, even when Gilda's mother comes toward them with outstretched hands. Oh, it's so kind of you to meet me like this. I <clears throat> asked the chief over and over what my husband and I can do. We do so want to reward you somehow, though. We never could repay you for what you did for us. Oh, no, no, ma'am. It, it, it was all in the day's work. Hey, that's all, boy. Oh, sure, ma'am. It's, uh, well, there's nothing to make a fuss about. Uh, uh, that's true, Mrs. Minocchio. We, well, we, we just do the best we can. Sure, it was nothing at all. Oh, but please, uh, Chief Cody, isn't there, is there anything I can do? I told you how it'd be, ma'am. We firemen don't expect and don't accept any reward. You've done enough just by, well, by letting these boys know that you, that you're truly grateful. Uh, well, well, no, no, Chief Cody, maybe there's just one thing. Huh? Oh, what is it? Uh, it's about those kids of yours, ma'am. Now, the, the boys and me, we, we've been kind of worried. Uh, tell us now, what did the doctors say? Are those kids going to be all right? Yes, sir. Well, you see, you got them out just in time. Ah, well, they'll be fine. Not a trace of that terrible experience. <laughs> ah, did you hear that, boys? The kids are okay. Ma'am, ma'am, that's all the reward we want. And thanks to you for telling us, ma'am. Oh, it's all right. <laughs> oh, it's a pleasure, ma'am. Any time we can be. And that's all the reward of Firefighter Seeks. 
that when his chance comes, he can win complete victory over the demon of fire. But after the fire at Gilda's house, Chief Cody has a bone to pick with Trudy Collins, Tim's young sister. And you'll hear all about it when Chief Cody invites Trudy to visit fire department headquarters in our next True to Life episode of The Firefighters. In just a moment, Chief Bob Cody will tell you, boys and girls, how you can help the firefighters in your own town. But first, here's a message you ought to hear. And now, Chief Bob Cody with a special notice for the Firefighters Brigade. Chief Cody. Hello, boys and girls. This is your friend, Chief Cody, with a question to ask. How long is it since you inspected for rubbish? Old papers and odds and ends that pile up in a home unless you keep disposing of them. Well, my hunch is that it's time you had a checkup. Look for piles of paper and other rubbish that could feed a dangerous fire. Now, clean up that hazard. And by doing so, do your share to protect lives and property. Well, that's all for now. You'll be hearing from me soon. Fire Chief Cody and the young rookie fireman Tim Collins will be back on the same station the next time you hear... That's it. Let's go! Firefighters is a copyrighted feature of William F. Holland Productions.